Arlene, Arlene Williams, the Ganja oh, Granny, here on the phone with us. Hello? Hello? Hello, are we on air? Yes, yes we're are. on the air, live. Oh, we're celebrating, we're having a celebratory dinner here and toasting ten. We're so happy it worked out like it did. It was a struggle. Two years, two months, in four days. And tell us exactly what happened, Arlene. You know, so pardon? Tell us exactly what happened. Well, all right, I'm going to put him on. He's sitting here at the table. It was, uh, I'm, the only disappointment I had was with, there were barely, no one was there. I worked hard trying to get supporters. In the end, there was uh, two people came. One was the uh, president of, of Normal. And, uh, the National Organization for Reform of Marijuana Laws. Yeah. And tell so, us the good anyway, news. What's anyway, the good news? I'm putting Ken right on, and he's going to explain. Oh, Ken's you. joining we're, us. We're, Great. We're happy as we could possibly be under the circumstances. It was bitter. And we're going to speak right. with we Ken Unger in a moment. Let us talk to Ken now. Okay, hold on a moment. All right. We're speaking with Arlene Williams and Ken Unger, who's on trial right now, a medical marijuana case outside of St. Louis, Missouri. And uh, hello, I'm Ken. Can you hear us? He's calling us from outside of St. Louis right now. Hello? Yes, Ken. Ken Hi. Unger. Can you hear us? Hello? Hi, Ken. You're on the air. You're on the air live. Hello? You're on the air live, Ken. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm grateful to be able to talk to you today. Fantastic. Uh, Tell us what happened today. Well, I had to plead guilty um, to two uh, misdemeanor charges. Uh, I got a $300 fine for each of the misdemeanor charges. Uh -huh. So that's a big change from a felony. Yeah, well, they wanted me pleading guilty to a, a felony and a five years probation. So what was the sentence in the end that you did receive? I, uh, I pled guilty to two misdemeanor charges. One of possession uh, of uh, 35 grams and below, and one uh, one. Uh, we should be here of uh, uh, paraphernalia, a total of $300 or $600 fine. Oh, wow. I'm $600 sorry you had to, fine. I'm sorry you had to pay anything because medical marijuana is is becoming legal. Are, were you heartened? Were you uh, following the cases in Colorado and Washington? Ken, what do you think is happening in the country when it comes to medical marijuana laws? I'm praying that it finally comes to Missouri. Uh, I'm honestly, I wish I could afford to pack up and move to Colorado and just live in peace. Um, I would have gone through the rest of the trial, but honestly, I don't think I had the heart muscles left to get through it. I had a double bypass uh, less than eight months ago uh, from the stress and tension of all of this. And I just didn't feel like I was going to be able to survive all the way through the trial. Well, I'm so glad I'm that they at least dropped the charges. felony down to a misdemeanor for you. <laughs> right, but how long did this take? How long were you in fear of your life from going to prison for a felony? How long, Ken, did this last? When Over did, two years. When was the arrest? September 9th, uh, 2010. That's right. Over two years, two months of stress and strain on a disabled veteran who was doing nothing but alleviating his own pain in a way that was completely not hurting anyone else. What Do you think that medical marijuana will become the law in Missouri one day? I pray so. I, I mean, honestly, uh, it's a better medicine all the way around than uh, opiates that they fed me, which is probably 90% of the reason I have a heart problem now. Well, it's great to hear from you, Ken. It's yes. so, so great of you to call us during your celebration. Say hi to everybody. Tell them all, like, thank you for the support. We're really glad to hear from you and glad that it's good news. Thanks for your report. Oh. All right, great. Thank you, Ken Unger.
Wow, that was great to that hear was because fantastic. we had when we had Ken on last. Of course, he was fear, fear, fearing uh, a, a long prison term, uh, very serious and felony like he charges. And like you said, the stress has been so terrible uh, for him and his family right. that has affected his health. He's had to have a double bypass operation. Mm -hmm. He's recovering from that now and put on trial. Uh, it's just and terrible. And he had to plead to a misdemeanor, but in the end, the sentence after all of that was two hundred dollar fine. No, six hundred dollars. Uh, I'm sorry, two three hundred dollar fine. Two three hundred dollar fine. So fines. if anybody okay. wants to help Ken Unger pay that six hundred dollar fine, I'm sure he'd appreciate the help. His family has been under an enormous physical and financial strain because of this situation. And so anybody that wants to help Ken Unger, we'll put you in touch with Arlene, and she'll help you get that Absolutely. money to Absolutely, and we'll have Arlene on again to talk more about it. That's so, right. in a pretty interesting show. We started with preparedness, Aton Edwards, and we wound up a happy note to end on a happy note or a happier note that our friend Ken Unger is, uh, is not going to go he's to not prison. not in prison. That's yes, right. that he's having a party. He's right now sitting at a party, a free man, and I hope he enjoys that. And it's only sad that... You have a, now in the United States, some states where it's legal to do what he did and other states where you can go to prison. Other states where they martyr people. Right. So uh, oh, I don't know how long this situation can exist in this country, and I hope that they come to some positive resolution. Thanks a lot for joining us on Let Them Talk, and uh, looking and forward to seeing Dana you next Free Dana Beal. Free Dana Beal. All right. He's going on December.